Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm Crypto Foxy. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about Ripple's advancements in blockchain and their growing role surrounding that as well, what they're looking at for the future and uh, what they're basically placing their bets on. We're going to jump into that in this video. Before we do so, smash the like button and subscribe for more cryptocurrency news. I cover cryptocurrencies every single day. Ripple's one that I follow and I am invested in, so I'm very interested in what they're doing. So we're looking at traditional finance trade fi companies, and they're warming up to the idea of tokenizing financial assets on public blockchain ecosystems as the race for blockchain-based tokenization does intensify. Ripple X Senior Vice President Marcus uh, in in Fanger Trade Fi players are finally bringing financial assets to the ecosystem to deploy in production and solve pain points across various value chains. He says so. He also comments and says we're, we are initiating a paradigm shift towards real benefits. Moving beyond the hype of blockchain technology, it is starting to really develop itself, right? Um, so research is estimating the value, future value of tokenized market is about $16 trillion. We've heard that from other uh, financial experts as well. That is what uh, that is the number that they the figure that they have come up with, which is eight times larger than the total market value of the entire cryptocurrency sector. That right there says a lot so if they bring 16 trillion alone into the cryptocurrency sector for tokenization where does that leave the whole cryptocurrency market massive right uh this is not something that's going to happen tomorrow this is going to be an over time uh gradual thing however it's something that uh, a lot of chains are now working towards uh having this rwa type uh, system for tokenization so Ripple is commonly seen as a prepayment company providing blockchain-based payment solutions. So recent developments have increased its attractiveness, tra attractiveness to both TradeFi and decentralized finance players. So he says, we have a custody arm, a payments arm, and our co uh, contributions to the XRP ledger. This combination offers a holistic crypto asset infrastructure value prop, uh, proposition for developers looking to solve traditional finance and DeFi issues. So they're not just focused on one thing. They have a number of things in the works. And one is their newly announced stablecoin project. Now, he elaborated on the driving force behind Ripple's stablecoin project and says the off-chain market is approximately $22 trillion. The stablecoin market could reach $2.8 trillion within five years. So if you think uh, they're looking at $16 trillion in RWA assets, where does that leave the stablecoin market? Uh, that that there's a lot of room for, for, you know, people think, okay, well, you know, we have USDC and we have Tether already. Why do we need another one? Well, we've seen what happens with stable coins. You know, sometimes things happen with them. They get depegged. Um, these two have obviously, you know, stood the test of time. However, there is room for another stable coin. And if uh, XRPL is going to be focused on real world assets, why wouldn't they have a USD backed stable coin? It makes a lot of sense in my opinion. Um, so ongoing demand from developers in the XRPL ecosystem for top tier stablecoin offerings like USDC or Tether has been an ongoing factor. So they, he says, we envision our corporate DeFi use case on XRPL with tokenization, followed by our payments product and stablecoins using XRP, among other use cases and the XRP ecosystem as a whole. So that is something to really ponder. Um, you know, I, I, sometimes when I make uh, XRP videos, I get a lot of people um, that dislike XRP and are very vocal in that uh, that decision. Um, but you know, XRP is we can't ignore their their stake in the game, right? Like they're they're a massive player, and they re in my opinion, the reason that their their uh, value of XRP has been you know, basically squished is because of the whole SEC battle. They see what XRP is solving and they don't like it because their friends are the big banks. That's my opinion. Um, but however, you know, eh, it's my channel. I guess I'm entitled to my opinion, right? So we're sitting at about 50 cents right now still for XRP. My opinion is extremely undervalued. Um, I can't wait for the SEC, basically the, their case to be uh, over with because you know they are suppressing the price of XRP. In my opinion, I think XRP is going to be a massive player um, in years to come. And I think you know right now it is looking at XRP at fifty cents. I'm thinking you know I I, I need to pick more up. That's that's just what I, I think of when I look at it. But that's my opinion. Obviously, please guys do your own due diligence. Make sure you know whatever you do is right for you. This is just my opinion. It's my channel, right? So um, I just want to thank you so much though for tuning in. I really do appreciate you guys, and uh, I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Peace.